this is kind of a, a fun way. This is really a fun way to do it. This is actually, believe it or not, this is actually the third, this is actually the third week we've done this. And each week we've done it, each week we've done it, we actually um, have gotten more, uh, more people. I guess there's a, a little following now on Thursday night. We in, initially intended to do it just once, and, um, but the feedback was so good and the questions were so awesome. And I think at the end of the day, believe it or not, I think, uh, I think they got the big idea. And the big yeah. idea, yeah, you know, I mean, the big idea is that um, we're giving away free gifts here today. So, uh, and it, it, so if you are fortunate enough to be with us here tonight live, you're getting free gifts and, and there's nothing to sign up. There's no opt-in there. You don't have to do anything except uh, send an email to an email that will give you on this, on this webinar, uh, teleconference, video conference, whatever you want to call this stuff. Um, and it's great. So, um, obviously we get, this is a little different because Dr. Kaplan's having a little difficulty trying to get in, but guess what? We promised a special guest. So we're gonna, we're going right into a special guest. But before we do that, what I want to do is this, what I'd really like to do is I would like to do something. What I'd actually like to do is this and tell me if you guys can actually see this. And what I would like to do is I'd like to share something with you. And what I'll share with you is, uh, is really the following. Let's see if uh, hopefully you guys could see this. And um, yeah, we see it. Can you see it? All right. Yeah, it. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So for everybody here tonight, we're going to talk about some things that you can get your hands on and that you can plug and play and that you can utilize for the betterment of your practice, the betterment of your situation, the betterment of your family, and much, much more. And so I'm really excited because this is actually, this is really something that, uh, all I can tell you is, is that there's no better special guest, I'm gonna tell you. There's really no better special guest. I Stop believe... building me up so much. Stop building <laughs> oh, me up. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Wait a minute, I'm just getting started. So what I wanted to do was this. What I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys something before we get it started. So what I just did was, after this whole thing is done, if you send an email to newpatientnow at aol.com, you'll be able to get your hands on a bunch of the things that we're gonna talk about here, we're gonna show you, we're gonna talk about, and more. Um, but what I'm gonna ask of all of you is this. What I'm gonna ask of you is last time I did this, I, um, I got a lot of emails that said, I want that. And I love those three words because that's exactly what I told you to say is just say, I want that. <laughs> that's it, direct to the point. Well now, instead, if you see something that you want, tell us exactly what you want, all right? So that would make it a lot easier instead of just sending you uh, a bunch of stuff. Let's just kind of hone into what exactly you're interested in and what you want. So newpatientnow at AOL.com, that's exactly where to do it. Now, this was kind of cool. I wanted to start off tonight with this one thing. And what I wanted to start off with was that, I don't know if you saw this, but if you went into Google yesterday and you did a search, there was something on the bottom that said, tell me if you guys saw this, it said, to, thank you really to all doctors, nurses, and medical workers. And I thought that was super powerful because of the simple fact that all of us share the heavyweight championship of the world, the undisputed, undefeated heavyweight crown of the world, which we want all of you to move to the front of the line, and that is your title. And even though we're outpatient doctors, not inpatient doctors, not on the front lines per se, we are, as you know, doing the most noble of services, and the most noble of services is preventing patients from going to emergency rooms. Now, how do we do that? Well, obviously, I can't tell you how many emails that I got this week from, pay, from doctors that are treating patients that were on the verge of going to the emergency room, which is incredible. I mean, they were on the verge of the simple fact that they were ready to go in, and they went in, and we're talking about patients historically that have had bad discs, herniated discs, bulging discs, degenerative discs, and more. 
So this is such a powerful thing. And I just, as a gentle reminder, I wanted to remind you of that. And what I also wanted to remind you of was two additional things. And that is, you know, one of the things that some of the feedback that we got from doing these on Thursday night was doctors were digging how we communicate. And as we've always said often, it, it, communication is, is, as you know, in a lot of different ways. I'm not gonna go into that, but what I will tell you is the verbiage that you use is so important now more than ever. And we've always, we've always spoken about the simple fact, we call it seize the day, which is like kind of a little play on words, meaning instead of S-E-I-Z-E, it's seize the day. And I love the word C. I love the letter C. And the reason I love the letter C is really simple. Why? First letter in chiropractic. First letter in communication. First letter in, the, in calling. We're going to talk about that. Oh, I'm excited to talk about that. I can't tell you why, but it's coming up. <laughs> The fact is simple. We are not in the correction business, nor are we in the cure business. So I would, I would really implore you to be able to, instead of these words, and we just wrote about this in essence, this is one of the things we, we spoke about in the article that was just done in the American Chiropractor. We said, in lieu of using this verbiage, Let's live more with the simple fact that we're, the verbiage that we're using now is more other, the other great C's, which I love, which is control and contain. And by controlling and containing spinal disc problems, nerve entrapments, and so much more that are with everything within the chiropractic umbrella of services, you're in a much better position because you know what this speaks on? This speaks on one simple rule. And the simple rule is this. In life, in life, if you underpromise and you overdeliver, trust me, you will win this game every single day. And the reason you're going to win this game is because your patients are going to win this game. So let's live with this verbiage. And uh, that's, really, that's really one of the key components here in terms of, remember, as we've always said, I can give you hundreds of things. Dr. Kaplan can give you thousands of things. But it's really always about one thing. And if you implement the one thing correctly, you can move mountains. And with regards to one thing, I will tell you that if you remember, if you were on Thursday Night Live last week, you heard us speak about, I got very excited about something last week. And what I got excited about was that I actually watched a webinar, video conference of our special guest. And it was so, it was so time sensitive and it was so spot on and it was so, it was so topical and it was so consistent with everything that's going on right now. And it came really from the greatest source. The topic was known as PPP, otherwise known as Paycheck Protection Program. And the video conference actually that I was on last week that I watched that I was so taken by was none other than one of the real stars of our profession for so long. And yes, he is in the Dr. Success Spotlight book, but it's so much more than that. He created a tool, him and his team created really a tool that set so many chiropractors free. And when I say free, what I'm talking about is free from the burdens of, collect, of collecting money. That's really it. At the end of the day, if you want to break it down to the lowest common denominator, Dr. Miles Bodson created something known as cash practice systems. And in his genius, in his genius, he allowed doctors across the world to be able to focus on what was really important, which is helping sick people get better. He did all the heavy lifting. He is really, really such a cut above. And I gotta tell you, it's such, it really is such an incredible honor to be able to bring him on. I'm so, I can roll, I'm telling you, if I took off my, if I took off my jacket and I rolled up my sleeves, I don't know if you could see this. Can you see the goosebumps? I have goosebumps right now because I'm so excited, I really am, to listen to what he has to say. And, and so here's what we did last week. We actually sent out that webinar to everybody who asked for it. 
But guess what? It gets even better tonight. And the reason it gets better tonight is because believe it or not, even in one week, things have changed. So the magic of Dr. Miles Bodson is that he was called to do this. And that's kind of a little wink wink because when I say called, what I mean is if you wanna dig in and you wanna to link to this, one of our gifts here is we're gonna give you a link to be able to get in touch with him, to be able to watch a movie that he actually produced, he wrote, he created, he started, and it is called The Calling. And I can't think of a better title for a movie because he really has done something that no one on the planet has done for chiropractors. So without any further ado, I got to tell you, I could talk all night about you, brother. I'm going to tell you. Yes, you know, I'm ready. You're, driving, you're, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> you, know how, you know how well, you know how well and how much I dig you. And, um, and you were my first, as you know. Yeah. You were my first. Yeah. And when I say yeah. my first, meaning the first, the first um, testimonial. Unsolicited testimonial. Unsolicited testimonial I ever gave in my life to any doctor, any chiropractor on the planet happened to be the Dr. Bodson many moons ago because I said, brother, I said, you're onto something here. I love what you do. You, you, you've really put it out there for chiropractors. But better yet, once I got a chance to learn his story and his background in terms of how he started and how he created this. So what I would love for you to do tonight is I would love for you to take the reins for as long as you want to take the reins and talk about two things here. Minimum. Number sure. one, PPP. And number two, my favorite, cash practice systems. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'd be happy to. First of all, thank you for all those kind words. That's very, very sweet of you and very kind of you. And it's, it is a fun story that it was probably 15 years or so ago. And I still have your testimonial in a frame hanging on our wall of the office that out of the blue, we didn't know each other. And I got a letter from you just giving us accolades. And I was like, wow, Holly, look at this wonderful letter we just got from Dr. Perry Barr. How, how, sweet, of, how sweet of him. So really, thank you. I, I really appreciate those kind words. And I absolutely love chiropractic. And you know, for those of you who don't know, I practice as a chiropractor for a good 20 years. Um, just a little background that I am a chiropractor. I'm not just you know, someone that you met, per se, that you know, developed something here. So let me talk about the two subjects. One is this PPP thing. Uh, I'll be the first to say what I'm sharing with you is the little that I know from the experts I've talked to. In fact, the, the webinar you're referring to last week, I had a guest on with me who is really a good, a good friend of mine who was basically reading the law and explaining it to us chiropractors. And I'm sure everybody, I'm going to assume, well, I don't want to assume anything, that you're all familiar with what PPP is at this point. It's a, a government program put on by the SBA to help rescue businesses in the spirit of the law. The spirit of the law is to provide funding to businesses to help us cover the costs of our payroll so that we don't have people unemployed. Because really the bottom line is right now is, is that there's a potential for a serious recession, serious depression in the, in the country right now from people being out of work. And that's not to be depressing, but that's just the nature of the reality of what's going on right now. And the government wants to help us, help businesses, keep people in business to keep the economy going so that the economy is there when we come back from all of this. And the economy is driven, as you know, by employment people having money. And if people don't have money, they're not spending. If they're not spending it, the economy, the wheels come screeching to a halt. So the whole notion is, is that we as business owners can get funding. And the one thing I want to, there's, there's one thing that I've seen confusion about in this, and I'm going through it myself right now. I've applied for the PPP loan myself for my company and going through this whole process. I'm going to guess many of you have as well. But there's two things that there seems to be confusion around that I want to address. The first is calculating the amount of the loan. And the second is how do you get the loan forgiven? Those are the two pieces, and people seem to be confusing. By a lot of the questions I see being posted, people are getting confused between the calculation of the loan amount and putting things in there that have to do with the forgiven part. So let's, let me just kind of address that topic head on. The first is the calculation of the loan amount. If you want to do this loan program, the way it's calculated is it's strictly based upon your payroll. That's it. Nothing else, nothing to do with your rent, nothing to do with your interest on your loans or your mortgage, nothing to do with your, your, uh, um, your uh, utility bills. It has only to do with payroll. So the way it works, well, the, way I'm do, the way it works for my bank is I'm going through Bank of America. They said, look at the last 12 months. And this was another area of confusion. Are we looking at 12 months starting right now, like going back from March of last, you know, last month and going back 12 months? Or are we looking at 2019? And there was some confusion around that. Well, with my bank, they're saying, look at 2019. 
the 12 months, you know, January through December of 2019, and you're going to come up with an average monthly payroll, whatever that number comes to, 20,000 a month, 50,000 a month, whatever that number comes to. What goes into calculating the payroll amount per month are going to be things like wages, health insurance, uh, sick leave, um, uh, retirement benefits, anything that you're spending money on that goes towards payroll. The only thing I believe is excluded from that are your federal taxes. Payroll taxes are included. You know, if you're putting money towards matching of a retirement account for your staff, if you're paying for their health insurance, those types of things, all of those things go into the calculation. And if you're working with a payroll company, quite frankly, your payroll company should be giving you a report that tells you this amount per month. Most payroll companies, I know our payroll company immediately put out a report for us, giving these exact, exact figures for us. So we didn't have to figure this out ourselves. So you have that report. It says, okay, you come to X number of dollars per month. Let's call it 50,000 a month of payroll. You multiply that by 2.5 and that comes to some number. In that case, it would come out to be 2.5 times 50 would be $125,000. So that would be the loan amount. That's what you qualify to have as a loan. And that loan will be given to you by the government at a 1% interest rate and you have up to two years to pay it back with six months of forbearance on making payments. Now, that's the loan. Now the question is, can you get it forgiven that you don't have to pay it back? And there's a separate calculation for that. It's completely separate. Nothing to do with the calculation of the loan amount. It has to do with something separate. And the separate thing is, is that they look at the eight weeks from the time you got the loan thereafter. And with that eight weeks, there are certain things you can spend the money on that will qualify to have it written off. Now, when they write it off, it isn't automatic. You're going to have to apply to your bank with records demonstrating you spent the money appropriately for them to forgive that portion. If you don't do that, it won't be forgiven. It's not an automatic thing. So when you submit that in, and your bank will give you this information of what they'll need, but generally what they're going to be looking at is what you spent on payroll. And again, the purpose of this loan money is primarily to keep your employee, staff employed so that they're not on unemployment and they're staying. And again, that's the whole incentive of, it, of this is so that the money needs to be spent on payroll. How much of the money? They're saying 75% of the money you borrowed for that to be forgiven needs to be spent on payroll. The remaining 25%, if it didn't get all spent on payroll, you could apply up to 25% on, on some other things. Those other things being utilities and what makes up utilities, you know, your normal uh, internet, phone, gas, electric, those types of things. Your, 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 those are your typical utilities. Your rent on your property, you know, your office space. If it's a mortgage on it, the interest on the mortgage could be written off. So payroll, rent, mortgage interest, and I believe there might be one other thing. I don't recall. I think it's just, it may be just those three things right there. So in essence, when you get that money, assuming you get that, keep very clear records that that money's being spent on those things because eventually you'll have to submit that to the bank for them to then um, forbear, not forbear, uh, uh, forgive, forgive that portion of the loan. And if there's any portion of the loan not forgiven, let's say you borrowed 100 and they forgive 80,000 of it, the remaining 20,000, you would then have up to two years at 1% interest to pay that back. From, the, from, from all the stuff that's out, that's my understanding of how the loan program works. I'm like you, I'm still learning it as we go from the standpoint of working through it with my bank. I know I filled everything out, submitted everything, now it's just the process of waiting. I do know that it's a limited period of time for people to get these funds uh, approved because there's a limited dollar amount, I think 350 mil, uh, million dollars, I think it is, that's being applied for the small businesses but it's getting used up quickly. Um, so if you haven't applied, get it done like ASAP. Don't wait until next week, like get your application in. There are some questions about whether or not if you're a sole proprietor or an independent contractor, if you are the business owner, a, co a corporation, and you have independent contractors, they do not qualify as part of your, you don't include 1099, you only include your W-2 employees. If you are a sole proprietor, you have to wait till the 10th, I believe, right, which is tomorrow before you could apply. Corporations can start applying as of last, I think Friday was the first day. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else really that's confusing out there. If there's any questions, I'll do my best to answer. If there's questions being posted, maybe I don't see in the Zoom if there's a place for people to post questions. Maybe you could submit them to Perry during, the, during this, and we can always get them. To, if I don't know the answer, and I probably don't, I can get them to a, a friend of mine who, who, who knows the answers to, that, to, to the questions you have if that, if that becomes the case. Perry, was there anything else you wanted me to address in regards to the PPP? I, I, I will say this. One thing we created, maybe you're aware, I think, Perry, you're aware of this. We created a, a, a tool for doctors to be able to calculate the total. We put this out last week. It's still up to, it's still valuable, although I think your payroll company will get you this information without you having to fill this out yourself. If you go to cashpractice.com forward slash PPP, you go to that page, cashpractice.com forward slash PPP, 
on that page, I have a calculator that we created for helping you calculate this stuff. Also some resources to the SBA, as well as a, a, a place where you can download the application, all those kind of things. Uh, but even so we created that, again, you're probably your best resource is going directly to the bank. You're typically going to go to your bank that you have a business relationship with. Um, and if their bank isn't available to do that, then you'll find some, another SBA uh, a le a lender for that. I've seen that some of the banks are requiring that you have a checking account with them. Potentially you had some kind of um, um, credit with them, like a credit line or something like that. I know some of the banks required that, some of them didn't. I know there was some hecticness with Wells Fargo where initially they were turning people away, but I understand they opened it back up. I know for me with Bank of America, when I first looked at it last week, uh, they said I couldn't do it because I didn't have a credit line with them because I have a credit line with someone else. But then all of a sudden on Saturday, they changed it where as long as I had a business checking account and because I... I'm such a good customer of theirs. I don't know if it's just because I'm a good customer, I should say, but they opened it up as long as you had a business relationship with them. So long story short, you want, it's evolving by hour by hour. It's actually been evolving. So I hope that created some clarity and not confusion for you guys. Perry, is there anything else you wanted me to address in regards to what you had heard in the webinar you attended last week that I'm not necessarily getting across right now? Well, what, what I would do here is this. Um, let's, let's have some fun tonight, all right? And what I'd like to do is Dr. Semlo um you did something that you were the first one to do this and what you did in zoom tonight is you you did this you raised your hand awesome so dr semlo i'm assuming you have a question so let's try fingers crossed <laughs> to see if we can bring your question in here right now i'm gonna basically what we're gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can unmute you and, um, and we'll see if this works, hopefully. Um, and because you raise your hand, you have a question, and oh, yes. Hey, Rick. There he is. Yeah, how you doing, sir? Good. I'll do my best to answer. Okay? I can't promise anything, but I'll do my best. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we hear you just fine. So I did the application for the disaster relief fund today. And um, in my research, it showed that you could roll your disaster relief fund into the PPP, because you're not allowed to double dip and pay your payroll twice out of both. Right. Now you roll it over for forgiveness. Um, how do we go about that? Yeah, so, so just to clarify everybody, the disaster loans are separate from PPP. They're two different things. Disaster loans are not a new thing that's been around forever. You know, you get involved in a hurricane or a tornado and there's a disaster, you can apply for these loans. That's completely separate from the PPP, which is a new thing that that, that they, they developed specifically for this scenario that's going on right now. From what I understand, and I, again, I'm not an expert on this, so I'll do my best here. From what I understand with the disaster loans is when you apply for that, you can also request that up to $10,000 will be given to you immediately. If, is that what you're referring to right now? Yeah, actually the research I said, you know how things are changing daily? Yeah. And uh, what I read today was that it just changed over to you per employee. $1,000 per employee. Right, so they now say up to 10,000. What they're saying is, is that you could apply to this loan and you could say, can you give me up to 10,000 right now immediately without you know, necessarily being the loan per se. And um, it was saying 10 and now it's saying up to 10 and it's I think 1,000 per employees are saying. And what's, what's unique about that portion of it is, is they'll give you that money theoretically right away or within a few days and theoretically you do not have to give it back if you do not get approved for the loan. So let's say you're applying for a $50,000 loan in that case and they, they gave you 5,000 of it right away. If you did not get approved for that loan, you get to keep the 5,000. With that being said, however, they're not gonna give you that and give you the write-off on the PPP loan. You're not getting both for free, meaning, so what you're, what that, that grant, that's actually becomes a grant from what I understand, this is again, what I'm understanding, and I could be wrong here, but from what I'm understanding, that that initial amount that they give you from that loan, if they do give it to you and you do not get the loan, so let's talk about that. You don't get it. You don't have to then give that money back, that five, ten thousand, whatever it may be. If you do get that loan, what you're asking is, does that get rolled into the PPP? I'll be frank. I don't know the answer to that. I don't. I'm not. A, that's not something I've heard already. But if it, I'm going to imagine if it does get rolled into it, that you're not going to be able to write off the the uh, whatever you get from that. If it's added onto the PPP loan, you're not going to be able to say, well, I put money towards payroll, so it goes in that if I put 10,000 towards payroll, I get that forgiven from both loans as a separate thing. It's only gonna get forgiven from one of those loans, not from both. And most likely I'm gonna guess the PPP loan if you did do both. Is that, okay. And I don't, want to, I don't want to give out false information. I'm giving you a caveat right now. I don't know that for a fact, but I think that, I believe that's the way it works. 
All right, thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful, thank you, Dr. Semlo, for, for doing that. You made history tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you did, wow, I'm so excited that it worked. I can't believe it. So yeah, as we go through this, if you guys have questions, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, I'm actually gonna pick um, Dr. Botson's brain a little bit on something that I get asked a lot. Okay. okay. And this was really, this was really one of the great things that, that Cash Practice Systems does. And one of my first gifts tonight is the following, all right? Um, and I didn't think about this till like an hour before we, we went live here tonight. And I thought, gee, you know, we have just such, such a limited time tonight for so many doctors that are joining us here tonight to be able to really learn about you and what you've done and what you've created and how you basically, you really take care of us. You really have taken care of chiropractors on such an incredible level. Um, and so what I wanted to do, and that's what Cash Practice System does, because it's, this is a bottom line thing. In other words, getting money into your account this is, a, this is the bottom line, and there were so many doctors historically because of insurance and because of lack of insurance and because of denials of insurance and because of capitations and plans and, you know, you could fill in the rest, and they would hit a wall. They would literally hit a wall, and they, would, and, and they wouldn't know what to do. Well, what Dr. Bodson did in his genius is – through cash practice systems, he allowed chiropractors, in essence, to be able to not have to deal with that aspect of it. And the reason it became so in vogue is because of the specialty of so many of these chiropractors that are on this video conference tonight, which is there are so many spinal disc specialists. There are so many non-surgical spinal decompression doctors that are on this conference with us here tonight. So my first gift to you here tonight is if you send us an email at newpatientnow at aol.com, I will send you the actual radio interview that we did for the Dr. Success Spotlight book of Dr. Botson laying out exactly what Cash Practice Systems does. And it's a beautiful, it was such a beautiful interview, only in the sense that he was very direct and it was very, and it was really funny. I don't know if you remember this, Dr. Botson, but it was actually right before you you were hinting about a movie coming out, The Calling. And you know, just for fun, would you would just for fun? Because this, to me, this is this is so different. This is so unique. Would you share with with our group here tonight exactly what The Calling really is about? So, it, it, thank you for bringing that up. It's it's a fun project. So. This is all about you guys and everything I do in, my, in, in cash practice. And by the way, don't let the name cash practice fool you. You don't have to be a cash only practice. Some people think that. We help all types of practices, even those who accept insurance. I just want to throw that out there real quick. Some people immediately they think cash and they're like, oh, it's not for me or whatever. Um, as far as the movie. So, you know, I, we all have our stories we tell. We, we all have our own stories. And I've told my story about what got me to where I was in practice and how I got inspired to do things I did and some of the challenges I faced. And I've told it in interviews in the past. And it, I got emails and people coming to me saying, I really like that story. Like, it inspired me. I feel very, like, if you could do it, I could do it. And there's nothing really special about me. I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get shit done kind of guy. That's me. I get stuff done and I don't let things get my way. That's, that's the only real reason I'm where I am today is because I, I have a lot of grit. I just push through things. And people were always inspired by the story I told. So I said, well, one day, we'll maybe we'll tell that story. And I originally thought I was going to write a book, write a book about the story. And then it got, and, I, and it turned out I had a friend of mine who's a movie producer uh, reach out to me and just the, the universe brought us together for this very moment. And we talked about the idea of telling the story. And initially I was going to do it as a, as a, a documentary, a docudrama type thing. And then eventually we decided, you know, it's such a great story. Let's go ahead and hire, let's script it out and let's get actors and actually produce a movie, which we ended up doing. And it's called The Calling. Why is it called The Calling? I believe every one of us, for the most part, have been called to serve as healthcare providers, to be called to serve as chiropractors, to serve humanity. And that was my calling. I got called to do that. And I tell the story in the movie of, it's, it's an illustration of what it is to be called to serve as a chiropractor. And it goes through the, the role of the indecision about the idea of becoming a chiropractor, the, 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 the family drama that goes on when you decide to make a major change like that, 
uh, going into school and coming out and facing the challenges of being in practice on your own, you know, the ups and the downs and not having money, having money, all of the challenges we go through, and we've all experienced it ourselves. And we've just done, a, I think, a pretty darn good job of telling the story. It tells the story not just of me and, get, and choosing to become a chiropractor, but also tells the story of Holly, who you mentioned. It's her, her, she has a character who plays her as well, of her starting out really unsure about herself in life. And then now here she is 18 years later, you know, being a, a force in chiropractic, as well as telling the story of a patient uh, weaved in through the story of, you know, the benefits of chiropractic they received. And it's just, a, I believe, very well done. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback, especially from chiropractors. You know, people in the industry who tell us they've seen it, they come back saying they felt really inspired. I have doctors tell me they cried, they laughed, they, you know, it was a, they really connected with it. So we did the movie uh, with the intention of really inspiring chiropractors. I'll be frank, I'll be completely transparent. You know, when you watch it, my hope is after you see it, you're inspired to call me and my company and want to do business with us. I mean, that's ultimately, it's a marketing thing. You know, that's what we do is get our message out. And it does do a good job of telling the story. Um, I think at the end of it, you'll be like, well, I want to do business with that company and those people. They're, they're good people. They have a good story. Um, and I'm, again, I'm, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm, I'm, I, I'm very transparent with everything I do. So that's the intention of the movie is to inspire you. And hopefully you'll want to do what we, what we shared. You know, when it comes to, you know, the, what we do as cash practice, I'll just give a real kind of generic statement as to what we do. And that is we are a platform for helping doctors build patient loyalty. That's ultimately what we do, is we want you to have a, a loyal patient base. And what we mean by loyal, I think the word speaks for itself. These are people who stick with you thick and thin. And there's a bunch of different things that, go, that are involved in building patient loyalty. I will tell you of our thousands of doctors using cash practice right now, those who are following to the T what we do, all of the things that the, what we call the four pillars of building patient loyalty, they're weathering this storm we're in right now smooth sailing. They're really having not many issues at all. The doctors who are really not following the systems that are kind of doing their own thing, mostly what we're referring to is they're doing one-time payments. They're not doing care plans. They're not doing payment programs. They're not doing these things. They're quite frankly having a lot of challenges. And, and just from a statistics standpoint, and I'll, and I'll go back to you here, Perry, in just a second. Those doctors who have been following, you kept mentioning the care plans and payment processing and stuff. Those that have patients that are on care plans that are doing recurring payments, we just look at our stats during this period of stress that the, that the country's in right now. And during stress, things get accentuated. The lack of systems becomes accentuated. When you're doing things right, it becomes accentuated during times of stress. And what we're seeing is the people doing one-time payments, overnight, their revenues have dropped 50%, overnight. And those doing recurring payments, they've seen their revenues drop less than 3%. That's a significant difference in their survivability during times of stress. And we're, it's really painfully obvious right now during this time right now. So the whole platform we have is designed to help you build patient loyalty. These doctors have very loyal patients during this time period. So I'll pause right there and go back to you, Perry, to see if there's any other, like another direction you want me to go in. But going you know, specifically to the movie, I would encourage you to watch it. It's a, it's a fun thing. Yeah, I'm sure you got plenty of time on your hands right now. You can just go to the callingmovie.com. That's where it's at. And uh, you can post the link if you want, Perry. And, uh, and people can you know, enjoy it. Watch it. Share it with your friends and, you know. Watch it with your staff. I've even had doctors call us saying they watch it in their staff and they have playing in their office for their patients to watch, you know, because it's an, it shows, it isn't just the story of becoming a chiropractor, it's the story of a patient having success with chiropractic. And it shows the, the, even the patient having some skepticism, ultimately bringing the family in and just some good messages that are kind of tied into the story. So I hope you watch it and enjoy it. It's perfect. You know, I, I, we have another question that I, I want to direct to you. I have a feeling there's another question for you. So Dr. Simlo, Thank you. I want, I want to bring you into the conversation. But before I do that, uh, the years ago, I actually turned Dr. Botson. I actually, when, when, when doctors would ask me, they say, hey, do you know Dr. Botson? What do you, you know, what do you know about cash practice? I said, it's really, really simple. I could summarize it for you in just a few words. And I said, Dr. Botson, very possibly, could be the best kept secret in chiropractic. And, and by the way, everybody should have a Holly in their life. Let me tell you, sure. <laughs> everybody, should, everybody should have a Holly in their life because let me tell you something. You want to talk about, I'm going to call Holly, ready? This is my new term for Holly, ready? I'm going to call Holly the first responder of chiropractic. Yeah, for sure. I like that. 
right? I mean, because it's, talk about putting fires out. I mean, you know, was she not born to put out fires? You know, I dig her. I, dug, I dug her the first, and I think I've only met her once. <laughs> <laughs> I've People only been her. like, I've only physically met her, I think one time, you know what I mean? But, but I don't even she think she remembers me, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, she remembers you. She knows <laughs> who you are, yeah, for sure. But I said, Dr. Bodson and Cash Practice Systems is really, is really, See what he is, if you haven't figured it out, Docs, and we have more people on, on our video conference, so thank you for joining us, even though you came a little bit late, you know, the part that we, we, got, we got more to share. So, so you know, I, I, said, I said, really, I said, this is a chiropractor who speaks to us as chiropractors. You know what I'm talking about? In other words, he understands the nuances. He understands the quirks. He understands the uniqueness. He understands our strengths. He understands also our weaknesses. And he hit on, if you were paying attention, you probably heard one of the things that he just said five minutes ago, which hit it right in the head. And what he spoke about was this. He spoke about one word, you ready? The word was objections. Now, I will tell you emphatically that the doctors that we have seen actually not, 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 not crawl, not walk, not run, not fly, but actually soar. Imagine as a chiropractor, you could soar. You can, you can go above and beyond. That these doctors are the doctors that actually became better at overcoming objections. And that's why verbiage and communication and, and intonation and inflection and eye contact and, and all this stuff in terms of how we communicate is so vital, so crucial. So in his genius, what he did years ago is he actually turned me on to a four letter word years ago. It was actually the first time I actually heard this four letter word. And um, you can take a guess what that four letter word is. No, it's not that word. <laughs> it's not a bad word. <laughs> this, is, this is a PG, this is a PG teleconference night. No, he turned me on to a four letter word. I was digging it so much. Here it is. I'll spell it for you. You ready? D-R-I- P. That word came from Dr. Bodson and Cash Practice Systems. In other words, he created something known as the drip system, which was a way to bridge to tomorrow. It was a way to overcome objections, answer questions for your patients before they even ask them, and to educate them over a process. Because if you think you're going to hit a home run or a grand slam in one visit, it doesn't really work that way. You're not going to present a five, six, seven, eight thousand dollar case to a patient and explain to them the medical necessity and show them all the medical research and overcome every objection unless, unless you've set the table. So what he did was he created a self-working system called the drip system, which I thought was so awesome. So what I'd love to do right now before anything is Dr. Semlo, thank you for raising your hand and let's see if we did it once, maybe we could do it twice. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know, finger, fingers, fingers crossed, if Dr. Semlo, we can bring you into the conversation because you had a question. There you are. Oh, brother. Oh, no. <laughs> there, there. Wait a minute. There's Dr. Carletta. You were already with us. Thank you. Hang out with us, Dr. Carletta, because I was digging your question anyway. So it's Dr. Carletta. And um, let's see if, um, if this even works because you raised your hand. And I want to see if Dr. Botson hopefully... Um, can address the question if it's possible. Um, oh, you'll start your video later. Okay. <laughs> All right. No worries. Don't. Another don't. space cadet. <laughs> it's okay. It's 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 okay. Let's do this. Um, would you be kind enough to just talk before we go into the next thing? Would you just kindly talk? Oh, there's Dr. Carletta. Yeah, I oh, see David. There is Dr. David right there. Dr. Carletta, if you have a question. Oh, you're in space too. This is the freaking coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Carletta, thanks, brother. If you have a question, fire away, my man. Well, it was in regard to the, the different loans. You talked about the PPP loan for employees and for payroll. Uh, was there something through the COVID funding that was other than just the small business loan, or is it strictly the small business loan being funded by the Corona well, Relief the, Fund? The SBA, you know, the PPP loan was developed specifically for this event that's going on right now. That it was, it's a brand new thing. So 
that's uh, that's what we're referring right. to. As far as other loans, like I said, like I believe there is the emergency loans. That those are the SBA has these emergency loans that have been around for a long time from the standpoint of other types of emergencies. This one was just specifically done for this particular scenario that's going on right now. So the major funding that they're putting through the two trillion dollars for keeping businesses afloat and that whole bit, that's funding the emergency loans for the small business. A portion of that, as from what I understand, I think three hundred. It's not a separate loan on itself. It all goes through small business. Yeah, not, and I don't believe all two trillion is for that. I believe three hundred fifty billion of it is is for the small businesses. The two trillion right. is the, was the entire amount, but a portion, three hundred fifty billion, was allocated towards the, exactly. the PPP loans. Yeah. And I understand today they were trying to pass another 250 billion, okay. but I understand it didn't pass the house at this point. Um, without getting the politics, that's for what I understand. You know, it didn't pass at this point. I'm gonna guess it probably will after some politicking go that goes on. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for sure. That was crazy good, <laughs> Dr. Carletta. That was that was. You know what I loved about Dr. Carletta? Honestly, I got I got to tell you, was I love the fact that um. He was, he was in outer space also too with Dr. Bonson. If you don't think I'm digging this, let me prove it to you right here, right now. Because for those who are paying attention, I don't know if you know, I don't know if you know what, what, what that is. What is that's the universal sign for what? Our to track. what? Live long and, right? And, and prosper, right? Is that the, is that the, uh, is that the, is that, is that it? Did I do it right? Oh no, did I, did I do it right? Live long and, yeah, it is. Yes, live long and prosper. I don't know if you this know you're, right, there you go. You know you're a Trekkie, see Dr. Botson just beamed to another planet. If you could do it with two hands, that's when you know you're Leonard Nimoy. Which, yeah. by the way, I happened to meet one time and I'm gonna tell you, when I shook his hand, <laughs> when I shook Leonard Nimoy's hand, it was the softest hand I ever felt. It was scary. Like I got like, like it was like electricity going through me. You know, it was like, it was, it was unbelievable. And uh, it's actually a funny story, but I'll tell it maybe another time there. So um, what I would love for you to do, uh, Dr. Botson, is I would love for you to talk if you could, and you guys can ask more questions. Obviously in the Zoom world, which is really cool, even though he beamed to another planet, he's still with us now. He's on City Alpha 5 right now. And if you're a Trekkie, you would probably know what that, what that is, City Alpha 5. <laughs> so if you have a question, raise your hand. What's cool is when you raise your hand, you kind of come up to the front of the line there, and then we'll pipe you in, uh, which is great. Love the feedback. Love the questions. These are all questions I would have and more. But Dr. Botson, can you talk a little bit about exactly what the drip system actually really is, which I believe okay, is yeah, I'd love to. Parts. Yeah, actually, I would love to. In fact, today we just did an hour and a half webinar today for our members on the drip education system just today. So, yeah, so as I was sharing earlier, Cash Practices platform is built on this notion that we want to build patient loyalty. And we've narrowed it down that there's four pillars to building patient loyalty. Pillar number one, and I'll just mention them and then we'll focus on the drip ed here for a moment. Pillar number one is, is to give patients feedback. That feedback is important for them to know they're making progress. Feedback is an important piece of, this is why we do re-exams and give feedback and all the things we do. Number two is, is doing care plan. Making people have a game plan is, the, is really the pillar. They know there's a plan. Pillar number three is making the experience frictionless. That has to do with convenience, making payments frictionless, make it really easy for them. And then the fourth is staying in continuous contact with your people. This is the communication side of things. And that's where our drip education system comes in. So the drip education system is basically an email campaign system that drips emails over a period of time. You've probably heard the term drip nowadays. It's been used quite a bit. We actually uh, came up with that term probably about 15 years ago, drip education. That's the name of our product to have email campaigns. And in essence, that's what it is. Imagine if I wanted to have, um, uh, Dr. Collins here, I look, see him looking at Dr. Collins and let's say he was my patient and I wanted to educate him on the benefits of what, is it, what I did in my practice, I would assign him a campaign of emails when he became a patient of mine that went out to him, let's say one a week for six weeks. And each week he got a series, you know, a, 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 an email from me to educate him on a specific topic. The, the thing that's good about a campaign system versus let's say a newsletter, a newsletter has its value, but a newsletter is I send out this content in January, but if you come to me next month, you're not getting January's content. You're just getting anything moving forward. 
The campaign is different. A campaign is I design a campaign on decompression and it's gonna be 12 emails one, one, twice a week for the next six weeks on the benefits of decompression and the things a patient could be expecting and experiencing along the way. And that campaign is the same today as it was last year and it's gonna be the same next year. So no matter when a new patient comes in, I assign them that campaign and now they're plugged into now receiving that material from me on a regular basis. That's one example of using drip education. You could also use it for birthday cards and marketing things and all kinds of things to communicate with your patients. And we think this is the most important thing you could be doing right now. Right now, especially with what's going on, you must, especially if you're not as busy in your practice or maybe you've not even open at the moment, if that's the case, if any of you are that case, it's extraordinarily important that you're staying in contact with your patients as well as communicating with them what you're doing in your practice to keep them safe when they come in during this whole experience going on right now. What are you doing to keep your, you know, to sanitize and all the things you're supposed to be doing to reassure your patients they're going to be safe when they come in. So in our drip ed system, we actually added a campaign last week specifically for that topic so that you as doctors can send out that material to your patients, letting them know the things you're doing to keep it safe for them when they come in. It's extraordinarily important because we as a profession, we as a company want to do what we can to help. We've actually made our drip education system free through June for anybody who wants to use it. So if any of you right now are not members of ours, and I'm going to guess there's a portion of you who aren't at the moment, if you want to use our email system, I will give you a link called, uh, maybe I can, let me read it. It's uh, cashpractice.com forward slash free drip ed, F-R-E-E-D-R-I-P-E-D, free drip ed. So cashpractice.com forward slash free drip ed. Go to that page. It's just a place for you to fill out some information and we will set that account up for you totally free to use. Uh, to no credit card needed, no nothing. Just we'll get, we'll set it up for you. We've literally had hundreds and hundreds of doctors getting those free accounts so that they can communicate with their patients because so many doctors do don't have an email system for them to do that with. So we want to make sure we make that available for the profession during this whole scenario that's going on right now. So, in essence, that's the drip ed system. It's a really if you're familiar with Mailchimp or Constant Contact or Infusionsoft or any of those kind of programs that are out there for doing email marketing, that's what our drip ed system is. It's a it's a system for sending out campaigns of emails and marketing those types of things. The thing that's unique about it is that it's part of the umbrella of all the other tools we have so that when you're running payments and all these things you're doing, it, they all talk to each other, as well as it comes pre-built with pre-made chiropractic content. So you're not starting from scratch. You have in there already pre-made stuff that you could utilize for your practice right away so you don't have to start from scratch. So that's in essence what the drip ed system is. And uh, it's a very effective tool for for and I'm glad you asked about it because, again, I wanted to make sure people knew we had this free thing available for people to utilize uh, and, and, and take advantage of. I, I loved it. You know, the, in life, they say, you know, there's, there's, there's every, there's, a, I, I should say there's a lot of pretenders, if, if I may. And remember, you know, you use the word and you say, we're going to be transparent. We're going to be right. We, we don't pull punches. We, don't, we always say, remember when, when we interviewed you for the Dr. Success Spotlight radio show, which eventually became a book and, you know, your, your read in that chapter is one of the most popular reads there. We said that we're, we're going to talk and we're going to talk unedited, unscripted, unplanned, unrehearsed. We're just going to come, we're just going to come right at it. So the reality is that there's a lot of, there's a lot of pretenders out there, but there are. very few contenders, very few contenders. And if you don't believe that, that Dr. Botson is the ultimate contender, heavyweight champion of the world in the drip system marketing world and collecting money for chiropractors. That's actually his backyard. I think, isn't that your backyard back there? I no, I wish that was my backyard. It's not, it's not my backyard. I wish it was, but no. I thought that was your, that was it's near me. It's not far from where I live, but no. Yes, yes. Well, it could have been on City Alpha 5. It could have been, it could have been your, your backyard, obviously. But, you know, one of the things that, that I love about tonight is this, and that is, when I look at the participants, when I look at the list, we have so many family members here. When I say family members, we have concierge coaches, doctors, we have this centers of America doctors. And, and for those who, who may not know, if you're a this centers of America doctor, concierge coaches, doctor, that means that for the most part, for the most part, you're really focusing on the treatment of a bad spinal disc and you're using medical technology known as non-surgical spinal decompression. And you're saving patients from a host of bad stuff. And when I say bad stuff, I'm talking about opioids, Vicodin, Percocet, Tramadol, Oxycodone, 
I mean, the, the, Naproxen, Soma, I mean, you, you name it, Flexeril. I mean, the whole gamut of really the pharmaceutical world, which lends itself eventually because we know that doesn't really contain. Uh, after a while, if you got a bad disc and you've been told by the medical radiologist that you've got a herniation, now you're potentially speaking with neurologists, neurosurgeons, orthopedic surgeons, pain management specialists, physiatrists. And now you doctors as spinal decompression physicians are now in the position to potentially help a patient avoid a laminectomy, avoid, avoid a spinal fusion, avoid a, a, a discectomy, a, a foraminotomy, metal or cage in their back. This is the magic of what we do as chiropractors because now you're talking about the toughest cases, the worst cases, but I'm gonna tell you the patients that historically are so appreciative and so in love with you doctors because of the simple fact that you were able to save them from so many bad outcomes, especially trips to the emergency room. And I would love for you, Dr. Botson, to speak a little bit on the simple fact that one of the things you've done, again, in your genius, is for doctors per se that are in the spinal decompression world and or the neuropathy world because we always say that's the brother and the sister in other words if you're going to treat not if you're going to treat disc problems and or you're going to treat neuropathy problems there's a certain type of patient that you're attracting however if we're talking about cash packages if you look at the average of most of the doctors, if not all the doctors on this video conference, they're going to be somewhere between three to eight thousand dollars. In other words, that's what they're charging per case. And then how do they actually collect that money? So we talk about the lending trees, we talk about care credit, we talk about patient financing, we talk about in-house financing. But would you kindly, Dr. Botson, speak a little bit about maybe some of the subtle differences? with regards to, and we just did a, I don't know if you saw the video on this, but for, for you guys that didn't see the video, if you send us a, a, um, a request, a new patient now, I'll send you a video that we just shot on Monday on the three most powerful cash producing tools that you can use right now as a chiropractor. We'll send you a direct link for that. And what we spoke about, and that was simple, what we spoke about was if you look at the averages, for most chiropractic care plans, on a cash basis, you're looking at maybe $1,200 cash, maybe $1,500. However, remember, what you charge is based upon value, based upon outcome, based upon results, based upon a lot of other factors. And what Dr. Bodson does is he helps doctors that are presenting three, four, five, six, eight thousand dollar care plan. So can you talk a little bit about the differences between a decompression case per se and a typical chiropractic case? Absolutely. You know, I'll, I always like to start with the end in mind and work backwards. And my first comment will be is that if we're talking about start and end and never see the patient again, that type of case, that's different than if we're saying, I'm doing a decompression with the intention the person's going to transition to some type of ongoing care thereafter. So that does impact things. The reason I bring that up is because if at the end of the game, they're done, released, and I'm not seeing them anymore, our strategies are gonna be a little different. If the end game is I wanna transition them, then our strategies are gonna be a little different. So let's, let's address those. I also wanna bring up where you bring up the care credit and the third party financing, those types of things. One of the principles we teach is if you wanna build patient loyalty, and again, this is I guess patient loyalty is really only important if your game plan is to have these people continue on there, there after the decompression. If your mode of operation is, again, end game, they're done, I release them and I don't see them anymore, patient loyalty is not as an important subject matter in your particular practice. I'm gonna operate from the, the assumption, and correct me if I'm, just change it if you want me, if you want me to go a different direction, but I'm gonna go with the assumption that your goal is to get them well through decompression and then there's gonna be some type of ongoing care thereafter. If that is the case, Retention is, or, or, or loyalty, is going to be impacted on the thought of money. What I mean by that is, is every time a patient is reminded of a payment, thinking of making a payment, that interferes with their ability to continue with you. The challenge I have with third-party financing companies is that they are being reminded every month of a payment because they're sending them a bill in the mail. 
And the patient now has the painful experience of having to pay that bill for your services when you use a third party. So I'm much more of a fan of doing in-house financing where you're auto debiting their credit card or more importantly, you're auto debiting their bank account. There's no bill being sent to them requesting the money. It's an automated process. So you've eliminated this reminding of the money by automating it. Now the question is, are you gonna have, if you're gonna go into transition into a long-term care with someone, you know, lifetime care, whatever we wanna call it, beyond the initial program, what we find is the transition from going from initial program to wellness is a critical step. Many, many chiropractors I speak with stumble that they complete a program, and then when it comes to the transition to wellness, they lose them at that point. And the reason they often lose them is because there's a new financial paradigm the patient has to be switched into. If they prepaid for it or they paid it on a care credit or however they're paying for it, when the end of the program comes up, now I have to say to Perry, hey, great news, Perry, you're ready to go to wellness care and the new program is X. And Perry has to make a decision now. Do I want to start spending on this new program? And it's a financial decision and the patients, that gets in the way, quite frankly, of people transitioning. Versus if Perry had been on some kind of monthly payment directly to me at the, through that program of care. And when we got to the end of that program, the monthly payment was in sync, it was in sync, meaning if the program was six months or four months, the payments were done at that point. And I get to say to Perry, great news, you're ready to go to wellness care. By the way, your $600 monthly payment's now dropping the 250. If I get to tell Perry that his, the good news clinically is he's doing better, and the good news financially is the monthly payment he's been used to making me is now going down, that's very easy for a patient to digest. It's very easy for them to say yes to continuing because what you've just done is you've taken something they're used to doing, which is a higher monthly payment, and you've transitioned to something that's a lower monthly payment, and that's easy for them to accept. So we see is an extraordinarily high success rate of transitioning people from an initial program to a wellness or maintenance program thereafter. That strategy of having them on a higher monthly fee, transitioning them to lower. Now that implies if you're gonna do that, they were on a monthly payment to begin with. And the question is, if we're doing a, a, a decompression program that's eight weeks long, that's only two months, you're gonna have a really high monthly payment with that. So what we find is, and we, teach this, we also teach the same strategy to doctors, even those not doing decompression, they're just doing an expensive program, four or $5,000 program. What we'll often do is we'll actually add into that program additional services, not that they're not needed, these are wellness visits. So let's say you're gonna do a three month decompression program or a two month decompression program. We might build into that another four months of wellness visits. Again, this is why I asked the question, if you're gonna do wellness, let's just build some of that in right from the beginning. If you weren't, that's why I said, that's a different strategy. But if that is the, the goal is a transition, I'm, I'm gonna take, instead of doing a two month program of decompression only, I'm gonna do a six month program that involves two months of decompression with the remaining four months being the wellness visits. And what that does is it now gives me six months of treatment and now lets me now extend the payments for the entire total over the six months. And in fact, what we most often do is the patient will make a down payment and then smaller monthly payments. So they might put, maybe it comes to $6,000 in services and it's gonna be over six months. They might put 2,000 down and the rest of it, the next remaining five months will be smaller monthly payments. That strategy we find works extraordinarily well for doing two things. One is making it affordable for people. And I gotta tell you, monthly payments are the way your patients decide whether they can afford your care or not. That's, that's, the, that's the, the financial language people use today, especially in America here, to decide if they can afford something expensive. Does it fit within their monthly budget? And if you present your care where you're presenting an affordable monthly payment for people, it becomes very easy for them to make that decision. It's sort of like if, if Perry, let's say I was a car salesman, not to compare us to car salesman, but let me use the analogy. And Perry walked into my lot and I knew that if I had Perry fall in love with the red Corvette, he's gonna buy it as long as I find a payment that works for him. But if he doesn't fall in love with the car, he's never, it doesn't matter what payment I offer, he's not gonna take it unless he falls in love with the car. So what I'm getting at is, is you as doctors, your job is to get the patient to fall in love with your treatment plan. Once they buy into your treatment plan, the monthly payment that you offer, as long as it's affordable, becomes very easy for people. But to go back to your original question, what's the strategy? Regardless of whether it's decompression or any other expensive type program, our recommendation generally is, if you wanna transition to wellness, if that is the ultimate game plan, is to incorporate that as part of the initial program, as well as if there's any insurance or anything, that you just incorporate it, extend it for a longer period of time so that the monthly payments are reasonable for them to be able to say yes to, then it makes it an easy transition later. 
if the game is not to go to wellness and that is just treat and release, well, then in that case, you're probably better off just having them do prepays or splitting it into a couple payments, but you don't want to extend the payments on your own well beyond the course of care. So if your payment, your treatment plan was two months, you don't want to in-house do six months of payments for that two months of care. There's a little too much risk to you to do that in-house yourself. So you're better off using a care credit or something of that in that nature. But then in case you're not worried about patient loyalty at that point, because you're not, that wasn't part of the initial game plan. So I always start with the end in mind. If the game is, I want to get them onto wellness and maintenance, and that's part of your practice model, then that's the strategy we find works. And we've had experience that was working with thousands of doctors doing this, and that it just, it, it works time and time again, that, that works, to, works out. In my own personal practice, if I ever had a patient who said to me, you know, I presented a care plan, and they said, I can't afford that. Well, what do you mean you can't afford it? Well, I can't afford the monthly payment. What I always did, and it always worked, was instead of making the care cheaper, instead of discounting it more, instead of removing things, I would go back and I would add in more care and extend it for longer, and every patient said yes. So what did I end up doing? Someone who said no, who objected, ended up saying yes to more care. All that was the difference was is that because we extended the payments longer, they could afford the monthly payment and that allowed them to say yes to it. That was the, that's the key thing, one of the key things in, in these types of programs. So I hope that, may, I hope that answers the question, the, what, what the question you were asking, Dr. Dr. Perry. Yeah, that, that, was, that was actually perfect. And the reason it was perfect is for two reasons. Number one, that for any of the doctors here that are actually part of our family, as you know, if you're a Descendants of America doctor, concierge, coaches, client, um, we do something called boot camps. The boot camps are 100% free. In other words, you can come to as many boot camp trainings as you want. We do the boot camps and doctors flying from all over the country. And we talk about success. And we talk about the definition of success as a chiropractor. And then we just stack the deck and we talk about all the materials and tools and implementation and action steps and marketing and, and more and protocols and, and verbiage and, and all this incredible stuff. And there's never any two boot camps that are the same, but there's one thing that I always say at every boot camp, and I actually start the boot camp this way. Uh, and what I always used to do is this, and I'm going to show you the difference here, right here, right now. And that is historically, I always used to say that there's actually a math. You hear me? Believe hear me. it or not, there's actually a math to to. I'm back. Oh, look who's here! Who came to the? I'm back. It's about time. <laughs> I worked for an hour. It's about time. All right. Well, we can't see you, unfortunately, but maybe we can un. Maybe we can un. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. I heard you were in a Seder. I don't know. I don't know. in here. I heard you were in a Seder. I don't know. Hear it? You may want to turn so put the ear thing in your ear because there's a little, but I can see you now. But um, so before we bring you in, let two quick things, okay? Number one. Two quick things. Number one, we would talk about the math of success. Well, the reality is we don't use that verbiage anymore. We don't, what we talk about is there's an order to the success of a chiropractor. Now what Bot, Dr. Botson just did was genius because he talked about that there is an order here. There is an order in terms of what to do first, what to do second. That's number one. Number two, he also used a vital word. I don't know if you caught it. I have a feeling you did. But the word that he used was called retainer and or retention. Forgive me. Retention. Well, in old chiropractic, we would talk about words such as maintenance and things of that nature. But in the new world of chiropractic, we talk about the retainer program. And I will tell you that 80% of the patients of our Dissenters of America doctors go on a retainer program, which is a testament to their communication skills, their packaging, their success, and so much more. So I love that. And, uh, and I think your timing, Dr. Kaplan, is incredible. So I, there's a little feedback. I don't know if you have to maybe turn it down. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfect. I want to bring you into the conversation right now. And what I will tell you is over the past hour, Dr. Botson. I've heard done, everything. Have you heard yeah, it? Yeah, I saw you were here. Perfect. <laughs> Miles, Miles, first of all, you were phenomenal. Thank you. Uh, I heard everything that you spoke about. And we, we talked about the plans. And I love what you said, how 
you know, once you said, why won't you accept care? You had a level of confrontation, which I look as a level of communication, meaning, and you said, you know, what do you need? What do you want? And, I, and I'll give you more. Uh, you know, for the last hour, Perry, you know, I've been trying to get in. This has been, this has been a disaster for me, but I'm here. I had some matzah tonight, for those of you that want to know. But here's what I'm going to tell you. I remember when I was being recruited by St. Peter's College for basketball, Father Anatelli, with the president, said, ants think winter and summer and summer and winter. And I said to Father Anatelli, what does that mean? He said, well, ants understand that in the winter, with the snow on the ground, they're not able to gather their food. So they work hardest in the summer. So what I'm saying to the chiropractors here today is, now that things are, let's say, stagnant, now is the time to work the hardest, to plan your marketing, to plan your financial plan, to work out a cash practice scenario with Miles, to work on what you're going to do with Facebook, to get your website right. Because here's what I will tell you, the world will come back. What we know, let me give you a fact. 140 people die every day from oxycodone or oxycodone addictions. We have 50,000 deaths per year from drug addiction. That will be more than what we will see from the coronavirus. We do know that the problems with corona are diminishing. Perry, do you still have me? Something just took over the screen. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You're Did there. you put that up, baby? So drug overdose deaths are, are unbelievable in, in our country. And when you realize that, you know, that the drug overdose are bigger than the coronavirus, then you got to say to yourself as a chiropractor, where do I sit and where do I stand in this position? And what Miles has done in his genius way is make it affordable. Me Meaning, you know, listen, you're either independent or interdependent. If you're dependent on the insurance companies, you will not succeed in the next 10 years. The world has changed from the way that you know it. And what Miles has done in his genius and explained to you in detail is not only to, to how to access monies through PPE. Did I say that right, Miles? PPP, yes. Well, same thing. Yeah. But what, what, what he has done is he's showing you a way, doctors, you know, listen, I don't want the $20 visits anymore. You know, it's a very, very funny thing. When we were in practice years ago, Perry, we used to break it down to five categories. Were they cash? Were they insurance? Were they Medicare? Were they personal injury? Am I correct? But let me tell you what happened. So one of the, one of the doctors from New York said, oh, I'm not used to selling cash packages. And I said, the problem is because most consultants prior to Dr. Bart and myself sold, okay, made chiropractors salesmen. In concierge coaches at This Sense America, we're the anti-salesperson. Three weeks ago today, Perry Bart knows I had two surgeries, two. Had to go to the hospital and it was never a question of, oh, I don't know if I can afford the MRI. It was never a question of, oh, I don't know if I can afford a CAT scan. And when a doctor came in, his report of findings was very simple. Eric, either you have these surgeries or you could die. So guess what I did? I had, so three weeks ago today, I had a GI surgeon do my surgery. I had my gallbladder removed, which I missed terribly, by the way. And, and the fact is, I never asked about, oh, how much is the surgery going to cost? How much is my insurance going to cover? What will it pay or not pay? And I'm seeing, see, that's what chiropractic that's the If you become a better doctor, doctor, and it's a great book by Fred Barge, Are You the Doctor? Everybody read that book. If you're a better doctor and you can look people in the eyes and say, this is what your problem is and this is what you need to do, your world will change. Once you think that I will do, then guess what? 
they won't be able to afford you. If you think in that mindset, you're not thinking as a doctor, because as I said, go to a medical doctor tomorrow, and he's gonna say, oh, I need blood work. You're not gonna say how much does it cost. He's gonna say, I might need a CAT scan. I don't like the way this looks. But this chiropractor somehow, from all the other consultants from the Marxists, the singers, and I could go on and on and on, we became salespeople and not doctors. What we teach a country as coaches, what we teach to our doctors in Central America, is be a better doctor. To be able to look the patient in the eye and say, here's your MRI. This is what your MRI says. This is what you need. And I'm going to tell you, that brings them to a component. Now, sales, it's a matter of cost. This is what it is. Now, they have two choices. They can either pay you or they can go for surgery, which is going to cost them five times more money because all you have to do is recommend them that they look at the, on the internet on failed back surgery syndrome. Every surgery that's taking place for back problems in your area is because you have not educated her properly. In the last webinar, all these things, we talked about, you know, the, the, the gatekeepers. We talked about the, the people that are on, on the front. We talk about our armed forces. Well, doctors, you're on the front line now. This is your time to make a difference, to educate people to what we do as chiropractors and not be as worried about the cost because let Miles handle that. Say, we can develop a program that you can afford, but you cannot afford not to have this program done. So what we want to do here is I want to share some stuff with you here because we, we take your time with us so vitally important. And I want to show you some stuff here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to do some, um, I want to do some cool gifts here for you guys that took the time to share with us and to hang out with us tonight. And what we spoke about is a few things. Number one, tonight, we will send you, we will send you the direct link to Dr. Botson's program with respect to the basically the, um, the domain or the link, Dr. Dr. Botson, that you shared with us. We're going to share that with everybody here. Number one. Number two, we're also going to share the- Harry, can I say something? The interview. Yeah, hold on one sec. The interview that we're going to share the interview that we did with Dr. Botson um, for the Dr. Success Spotlight book, which really gives you the greatest overview as to cash practice systems. Because what he does is he breaks down the four components of the cash practice system, which we love. Number three, we're going to send you a link to the video that we shot on Monday about the three most important cash producing programs that you can use right now in your practice directly. And these are plug and play programs. We'll send you a video for that. You got to ask for this stuff. If you remember, new patient now at AOL.com. That's number three. Number four, we wanted to do something really special because the buzzword of the week, if we want to talk about the buzzword of the week, the buzzword of the week is stress. And now, more than ever, your ability, doctors, to conjoin how to manage stress with viable tools that you can communicate in this format, meaning how cool is it now that you could do a Zoom conference, you could do a video conference, you could do a webinar with what we're about to share with you. And what we're about to share with you is basically something that we put together called the Stress Workshop. And the Stress Workshop, which is really, really awesome, is something that is a PowerPoint presentation that you can run tomorrow. And you could show them the slides, you could communicate on the slides, you could bridge to an appointment, you could overcome objections. And this is in real time. And we actually came out with a new version specific to COVID-19, which is phenomenal. And then if you're sitting here tonight and you're saying, gee, I love that, I could just work off the slides. How cool is that? Well, it is cool, but guess what? It gets even cooler. And the way it gets cooler is we actually have an entire script for you to actually read through. So you can actually even has jokes in there and it's kind of cool and, and it, it, it explains how to explain the slides. So we put this thing together for you 
for joining us here on Thursday Night Live. And Thursday Night Live, this is why Thursday Night Live has now become one of the most talked about things, because this is the first time Dr. Kaplan and myself have ever done this before. And it was only started really as one, really as something we were gonna do, just do one time. Thursday Night Live became like free gift night, and you gotta be here to get the free gifts. So if we do this next week, I'm, gonna, I'm going to encourage that you join us. And I'm also gonna encourage that you join us at some, if you dig this and you like this, and you wanna learn more, then there's a website you need to go to. It's called thecairoevent.com. And what I want you to do is I want you to go to thecairoevent.com and if that looks familiar, you'll see it because there's a full page ad about it in the American Chiropractor, in Chiropractic Economics, in Dynamic Chiropractic. Wow, what timing for that, right? Pretty crazy, right? And especially, here's my favorite, there's a six page interview about you know who in there. Just came out, brand spanking new, there it is. And we're not the first ones to actually be on the American Chiropractor. I'm actually looking at somebody who was actually on the cover of the American Chiropractor. And I love Dr. Botson's story when it came out, when he was featured on the American Chiropractor. Don't think I wasn't the most excited person about that next to Tracy, probably. I don't know. <laughs> but what we want you to do is we want you to go to this website, www.thechirovent.com. If you're digging this, there is a training on May 30th that you want to attend. There's very few seats left. Go to the website, try to secure a seat. If you get a pop-up box that says it's sold out, it'll give you a choice whether you want to go on a wait list or not a wait list. But go, it's May 30th, it's a game changer. It is specific to COVID-19 and more. And you want to go to newpatientnow at AOL.com if you have questions about what Dr. Botson spoke about, if you want access to the stress workshop, if you want the script, if you want his direct link, if you want the video that we posted on Monday on the cash program, if you want the interview, we got a lot of good stuff for you guys and uh, we want you to be able to use it. So in closing, two quick things, Dr. Bodson, before we go tonight and then we'll go to Dr. Kaplan before we go. Dr. Bodson, is there anything else that you'd love to share with us before we go tonight? I just want to say, you know, just a quick thank you for having me. I love, you know, the opportunity to, to share with people and tell our story and help doctors. That's ultimately my aim. And, you know, you guys have been a lot around a long time. We've known each other a long time. And, you know, you mentioned before, there's the pretenders and then the real people. Us real people have been around. Like, we're not, I can't tell you how many companies we've seen come and go over the years and how many products have come and go in our industry. And it's great to see you guys do what you're doing for so long. We've been doing it a long time and it's the real deal. So thank you so much, Perry and Dr. Kaplan, uh, Dr. Barr, Dr. Kaplan for having me on. I really appreciate the time and to share with your, with all of your great doctors. If anybody want to reach out to me, you can give them my personal email address as well as just Dr. Bodzin, drbodzin at cashpractice.com. Be happy to answer any questions. Uh, and again, uh, we have that free drip bed thing for you, but thank you guys. And I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a great one. I'm going to go head over to our Passover Seder right now and I'll talk to you guys later. Beautiful, beautiful. That's awesome. Dr. K? You know, one of the things I'd like to say to everybody is first, Miles, I want to thank you. Secondly, uh, I got to thank Perry Bard because for those of you who don't know, dealing with Zoom is not the easiest thing. And they make poor Dr. Bard run through so many different, it took me an hour to get on tonight. And he's been dealing with this all day. And we do this simply to educate the profession that now is not the time to be an ostrich. Now is not the time to stick your head in the sand. Now is your time to plan. Ants think winter and summer and summer and winter. And, and the amazing thing about what, what we have done at This Sense of America is we've developed a brand for DISC. And what I've learned over the last three weeks after having gallbladder surgery, then what happens, I get a toothache. When you have a toothache, you will go to the dentist. When people have disc pain, they will go to you. If you create the model, now is not the time to stop. Now is the time to start. Now is the time to plan. Dr. Bard gave you a great gift tonight on the stress workshop. Why? Because after this whole thing resolves, there will be a level of depression. People have been out of jobs. People are going to have to reorganize their lives. Doctors, yes, you're going to have to rebuild your practices. And where do you begin? You go out and you touch people. You go out and you communicate. 
and the stress workshop, which we provide you the scripts and everything, we do it for free. Why? Because that's what we do. Nobody has made a bigger impression on the profession than we have. Nobody works harder at creating this video Zoom than Dr. Perry Bard. I'm honored to be here, although I was here late tonight, but honored to be Miles. And we talk about Miles, understand something. We don't promote anybody, but you know what? The future is not an insurance practice. The future is taking the practice into your own hands. The future is understanding that, that people will pay you. Dentistry has set the model. Miles has given you a platform with direct pay, with, with, with uh, automatic debit, with, Perry talked about it earlier, about a drip system, you know, that we've worked with Tracy on helping to develop. The, the point is that the future of chiropractic is here today, not tomorrow. The future of chiropractic is here today, and collections are a very important part, and Miles probably has the cleanest, the nicest, the best protocol system, and we don't have a a, a cash compensation program with, with Miles. Uh, why do we recommend him? Nobody's better at what he does than he does. And that's what we've always done at Conscious Coaches. We look for the best of the best. And if you want to be the best of the best, if you want to take your practice to the next level, if you haven't been to the Cairo event, you need to come there. And you need to learn because you know what? The future of chiropractic is here today because if we don't make a stand right now, 140 people are dying every day from oxycodone. Oxycodone addiction has increased through the coronavirus. Depression will increase because of the coronavirus. So doctors, where are you sitting and where are you positioning yourself? If you want to position yourself with the best, with the best. We had one doctor last week collected $49,000 in one week. Dr. Bard and I credit ourselves by having the biggest and the best of the best. If you want to take your practice to the next level, if you want to be like, yeah, I saw you, Dr. Biggs. If you want to be like Dr. Biggs, if you want to take your practice next level, Miles will help you. Perry will help you. And I'm here to help you. Thank you. And God bless you. Have a great evening. So the website, one more time, event. I will tell you that the training, you know, bad news, good news. All right. The bad news is it's 50 days away. And I know you guys are jonesing. Can I use that word? You guys are jonesing. If it was tomorrow, you would be here. I know it. There's so many of you that said, wait a minute. If they're giving this stuff away for free tonight, I wonder what they actually put in your hands if I come to the Cairo event. Well, gosh, if I told you, then I would take the secret away. But I'm going to tell you that you will walk out with a package of notes, materials, tools that come Monday morning when you go back to your practice you will hit the ground running. There's nothing to sign. There's no obligation. There's no pressure. There's nothing. If you can grab a seat at the next Cairo event, and that's the good news. The good news is it's 50 days away. So you got plenty of time to secure your air, secure your hotel, and that's all information packet. So if you go to www.thecairoevent.com, if there is any seats left, Grab that seat. It's the best 99 bucks you will ever spend in your life. I will guarantee it. You were here for a reason. You had a calling. Yes, you had a calling. If you watched the beginning of tonight, we talked about Dr. Botson's movie, The Calling. Well, guess what? All of you have your own movie. And it is also called The Calling. And if you watched the video we did on Monday, and I'll send you a link, we said that all of you. All of your lives are like a movie with intrigue, with comedy, with drama, with, with, with victory, if you do the right thing. And the right thing is, there was a reason you were here with us for tonight. We respect your time so incredibly. We got, we get, we're so excited to share free gifts with you. New patient now at AOL.com. Tell us what you want. We'll, we'll, we'll fill up your shopping cart. There's nothing else for you to do of all goodness. But the most important thing I could share with you, without any shadow of a doubt, if you want to see and meet Dr. Kaplan in all his glory in the most five-star location that'll knock your socks off with the most delicious gourmet lunch, hanging out with the most entrepreneurial chiropractors in the planet that are all dedicated on May 30th to learn about how to deal with the new normal 
how to hit the ground running, how to live on offense, how to stack your own deck, and to be able to go back to your practice on Monday, basically reborn, reborn in this profession, reborn in your business, reborn in your practice with an enthusiasm and a commitment to excellence that I promise you, I promise you on the planet, you've never seen before, www.thecairoevent.com. Thanks so much for joining us. If you dig this, if we decide to do it again next week, Thursday night, we hope to see you again. Send us any questions, newpatientnow at AOL.com. More importantly, we hope to see you at the Cairo event. Thanks so much. Have an awesome, awesome night. Dr. Botson, it couldn't have been better. We're so thankful you are our first, as always. So uh, we won't forget it, and I appreciate you big time. Have a great night, and we hope to see you guys at www.thecairoevent.com.